Welcome to Christian Assembly of Schriever, a full gospel Bible believing church. We are people who love God, who worship Him and praise Him. Please join us now for a great word that the Lord has for us today. reached down and wiped our tears away and stepped in and saved the day but once again I say amen and it's still raining and as the thunder rolls I barely hear you whisper through the rain I'm with you as your mercy falls, I raise my hands and praise the God who gives and takes away. And I'll praise you in this storm, and I will lift my hands, for you are who you I remember when I stumbled in the wind You heard my cry You raised me up again My strength is almost gone How can I carry on If I can't find you But as the thunder rolls I barely hear you whisper through the rain As your mercy falls, I raise my hands and praise the God who gives and takes away. And I'll praise you in this storm, and I will lift my hands, for you are who you are. No matter where I am, and every tear I cry, for you hold in your hand. Never left my side, and though my heart is cold, I will praise you in this soul. I lift my eyes into the hills. Where does my help come from? My help comes from the Lord, the Maker of heaven and earth. I lift my eyes unto the hills. Where does my help come from? My help comes from the Lord, the Maker of heaven and earth.
Amen. 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 I don't. Probably the last time I sang that was 16 years ago. Um, Sister Janice's son was killed in a car crash and sang it for her. And she asked if I'd sing it this weekend because it's been 16 years. So, wow. So, amen. Amen. Though my heart is torn, I'll praise you in this time. Through you, I can do anything. I can do all things, cause it's you who gives me strength. Nothing is impossible through you, blind eyes are open, the strongholds are broken.
nothing is impossible. Oh, oh, oh. for Jesus. Amen. God, I'm running for your heart. I'm running for your heart. Till I am a soul on fire. Lord, I'm longing for your ways. I'm waiting for the day when I am a soul
days I'm waiting for the day When I am a soul on fire Till I am a soul on fire Lord, I am a soul on fire
good? Yes, sir. Oh, and all the time, he is good. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. How many of you know the king is among us? The Bible says, where two or more gathered, there I am in the midst of you. Thank you, Jesus. He is here today to inhabit your praises. Amen. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Hallelujah. Surrounds us, the fire is falling. 
I feel the presence of the Lord this morning, and um, while we were worshiping, as we came this morning, the Lord spoke to me and said, set all agendas aside. The Holy Spirit wants to move on some lives and some hearts this morning. Amen. You see, when we come with our own agenda, that's when we hinder the Spirit from moving. And when we come and we let the Lord break down all of those walls, all the imaginations that we think of how we should do in a service, when we break down those walls and we come with an open heart and an open mind to worship the Lord, that's when the Holy Spirit comes and He dwells in our midst. Yes. Yes. And, and he, he, he strongly spoke to me this morning. I don't know who this is for this morning. I don't know if it's someone sitting in our midst or if it's someone listening online. I want you to know if you're listening online, if the Lord is speaking to your heart, this is for you. I feel strongly that it's someone that is struggling and they're even in their lives, they're even, they're even almost giving up hope. And, and, and let's be sensitive to the move of the Holy Spirit because when a life lays in the balance, the person that the Lord put on my heart this morning, like I said, I don't know if you're here this morning and I'm speaking to you or if you're listening online, you have a hope in Christ. Do not give up. Thank you. Jesus. Do not ever give up. Thank you. You have a hope in Christ. And as we as we sing this next song, I want us all to bow our heads and pray for this person. Like I said, you know who you are. If you're here today, Christ is your hope. You have every reason to go on. Do not ever, do not ever. Look, we're almost home. The Lord is going to come and he's going to wrap this thing up soon. Thank do not give up. Okay, Thank we're almost there. Yes. Persevere. Thank so I want you all, please, let's just take some time and let the Holy Spirit move, okay? A life depends on it. If that's you here this morning in our congregation sitting in our midst, or if it's you listening online, Please pray along with this prayer. I want you to know, everybody, bow your heads, please. Lord, we are so thankful that you can overcome anything in our lives, that there is nothing, nothing impossible with you. Your word says, if I will call on the Lord in my distress, that you hear and answer. So, Lord, I pray for those listening that are in bondage, that they would call out to you today. Lord, if they do not know you, that they would surrender their lives to you. And that's the starting point, to seek and surrender. And Lord, if they do know you, help them to realize that they are forgiven and that they just need to put their trust in you and rely on you day by day and to follow you wholeheartedly. Lord, we know the devil wants to kill, to steal and destroy. But you have come to give us life and that more abundantly. Thank you, Jesus. And you want to lift up and restore these lives. So we pray that you would do that now as we sing this next song. Yes. Speak to the hearts listening. Draw them closer to you, to a covenant relationship with you. In Jesus' name, amen. Stand me. 
I tell you something? As Sister Debbie was saying what she said, God was dealing with my heart that He wants to do something here today. And specifically, the Holy Spirit was speaking to me and saying, this week, pray for yourselves. We all have a prayer life, hopefully. And we pray for so many other people. But we're in an era of time right now, the Holy Spirit is saying, pray for yourself. Take a moment this week, every day. Change your program, change your schedule, and pray for you. Pray for yourself. And after you have prayed for yourself, pray for your brothers and sisters at Christian Assembly. I believe that's what the Holy Spirit is saying. I believe what the Holy Spirit has spoken to her is us. We are the ones who are struggling and need the help of God to touch us right now. Because God is about to do something more in Christian assembly that's unprecedented. You hear me. And guess what? You are the church, not this building. You are the church. God is about to do something inside of you that's unprecedented in your life. That you have never seen before. But rest assured, the enemy is going to come. Amen. The Lord tells us that way before. Pray. Pray. And when you've done all to do to stand, stand there for. You, you stand by praying. It's time for prayer. Spend this week and this time praying for yourself. Not your husband, not your wife, not your fiance, not your, not your cousin, not your, not your pastor, not anybody else, but you. And I'm listening to this too. God wants us to find our prayer closet this week. Seven days. God's wanting to do something inside of us that's unprecedented. Listen, the devil is doing things today that are unprecedented. So the Holy Spirit needs a church that's ready to rise up and do something that's unprecedented. Amen. To stand up in these last days. The Holy Spirit says that in the last days, he's going to pour out upon who? All flesh. Are you flesh in here? Raise your hand. All flesh. And you're going to see prophecies. You're going to see miracles. You're going to see visions come to pass. You're going to see the power of God pour out. Amen. But as the Holy Spirit pours out, it's still up to us to say yes. It's still up to us to respond to what he has to say. Get ready because God wants to take you and us to a place we've never been before to use us in a capacity he's never done before. And some of us, it's time to make some decisions for Christ. If you're listening by online, if you don't know Jesus as your Lord and Savior, if you haven't been serving him, you need to get yourself ready. The Bible says in John chapter 3, verse 16, For God so loved the world that he what? He gave his only begotten Son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. For God sent not a Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. It's time to get saved. Ask the Lord into your life. Ask him to forgive you of your sins and commit to serving him. Amen. Get yourself in a place where Jesus is number one in your life before anything or anyone else. And then you'll see the power and miracles of God begin to pour it up on your life in ways you've never witnessed and seen before. Make him your number one above everyone and everything else. First and foremost in your life and all these things shall be added unto you. God is doing something in these last days. Jesus is coming soon. And he wants us all to be prepared and ready. If you are like 1% not sure, then be 100% today. Give your heart to Jesus. God is not God's not impressed by our ministry. He's not impressed on our, by our outreach. He's not moved by the things we do. He's moved by who we are in him. And our faith in him as we trust in him. Listen, the devil wants to take you down. The Bible says that Satan comes as an angel of light. That means he's going to make it attractive. He makes the fall attractive. He makes the pull away from God an attractive thing. Or you wouldn't follow it. He make you make you feel like you're making the right decisions when all, all along you're just pulling away from Jesus. Amen. The devil will make you comfortable in your stuff and in your sin just so that you can say we must be doing it right because everything is good. A lot of good people going to hell. 
only saved people go to heaven. Amen. It's time to make a decision to shell out to Jesus 100%. Amen. We have no time to waste. The very next thing that you could hear is the trump of God calling the church home to be with him in the air. Amen. If that trumpet sounds and you're still standing here, have mercy. That song they sing, Jesus, I need you. Is that your prayer? Do you really need Jesus? Or you really need Jesus and something else? Or Jesus and something? Listen, there is nothing beside Jesus that we need. Oh, I'm going to tell you. Some of you in here, you're afraid to make the decision you need to make next because of past hurts and of past experiences that have kept you bound up and tied up away from God. And God says if you will step out and make a decision for him, he'll break loose those bounds and set you free. He'll give you a life that you never thought you could have. The devil wants to keep you in fear to not take the next step in your life you know you want to take. But fear keeps you back and has been holding you back. And that's the struggle. You're fearing that if I take a step toward God or take the next step I know I need to take, you're afraid of what's going to happen based on past experiences. Give God today those past experiences and today take a step forward by faith and say, God, I know what has been and I'm afraid. Be honest. God, I'm afraid. But Lord, I've heard that even strong men fear but still act in courage. Because faith is courage to believe what is unseen, to believe in God who is unseen, to do great things in my life. We all need Jesus today in one way or another. We need Jesus. We need Jesus. I'm going to listen to our agenda.